The Indian Embassy in Juba, South Sudan, marks its 70th anniversary of the Indian Republic Day on the 26th of January 2017. A great number of foreign ambassadors are credited to South Sudan, some South Sudan national ministers, civil society groups and Indian nationals working in South Sudan, all gathered at the Indian Embassy to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Indian Republic Day. A visual video projection showcasing the Indian culture, music and its socio-economic development strength in the world is one of the activities spicing up the occasion. It is worth mentioning that the Indian government is one of the countries working with the government of South Sudan in fostering development in a variety of fields including science and technology and the plan of building a medical psychiatric facility for the people of South Sudan. The Indian ambassador to South Sudan welcomes the guest and had a light moment of mingling with the invited dignitaries for this great Indian Republic Day. Speaking to journalists at the event, the Indian ambassador had this to say. I would like to say a few words about India and South Sudan, uh, the relations, the bilateral relationship which we have had since uh, diplomatic relations were started with South Sudan after its independence. Uh, India's sustainable uh, development projects for South Sudan, which are based on socio-economic priorities and the need for inclusive growth involves the two main components of capacity building and infrastructure development in uh, key areas of health, education, solar electrification, mining, agriculture, fisheries, food processing, water, electoral manage management and hydrocarbons. We have recently organized a four-week uh, standalone training program for uh, South Sudanese diplomats in India at the Foreign Service Institute in New Delhi. Uh, they are the future of South Sudan's uh, diplomatic service and I'm sure they will benefit considerably from the experience and the training which they get in New Delhi. Uh, they, I'm sure that uh, uh, the Foreign Ministry will gain from it both in terms of quality and in terms of upgrading their uh, strength. Uh, for the future uh, requirements of uh, uh, diplomacy in the, on the world stage. Uh, we also, uh, I'd like to mention a few words about the Indian community here in South Sudan. They have contributed substantially to the enrichment of our bilateral relations uh, with the host country by involving themselves in the development process of South Sudan. Uh, our South Sudanese friends have been very grateful for the role played by the Indian community here. Uh, for the Indians, it is of course a home away from home, as they always feel at home here uh, with their South Sudanese friends. Well, uh, you know, India also came through a very difficult phase 67 years, uh, 70 years ago. And uh, ours was a very uh, disjointed group of uh, states, provinces and all that. We had different ethnic groups, we had different languages being spoken around. But, you know, uh, as, as I say, unity is diversity. Diversity in uh, unity in diversity, as they say. So we all uh, good leaders. Our leadership ensured that we did not go our separate ways. Each province had its own autonomy. At the same time, they all came together under one umbrella as the Union of India. And uh, that is the lesson which I think South Sudan can learn from uh, India, because you know we also went through very difficult times. It's not easy. It's easier said than done to come together and uh, talk to each other. But you know you have to uh, settle your differences separately and you have to get over your differences and talk to each other. That's the most important thing. Dialogue is the most important thing. And that is where I think the President's message for national dialogue is uh, something which is very, very crucial and something which South Sudan can benefit from. It. The people should benefit from it. The people should take that uh, this very good opportunity to settle their differences, to get away from those issues of concerns which you know antagonize each other uh, on uh, racial on uh, ethnic basis so you must be one people south sudan should be one group of people and they should say that we are south sudanese rather than we are from different groups so that will be a uh, lesson which i think india can offer and uh, now india is still learning its way 70 years down the line we still have our own uh, problems it's not that we don't have problems but we can share whatever we learned in the years gone by. And I think so that, you know, we want friends like South Sudan, our South Sudanese friends not to suffer and learn from our mistakes also.
EBC TV spoke to some invited guests from different walks of life to get their reaction. My name is Johannes Lena, I'm the German ambassador. I want to congratulate India on uh, this day anniversary of the Indian constitution and their liberty and their fight against colonialism. I think it's a great day uh, for India as India is now one of the most important countries in the world. Uh, this shows how a good policy, democracy and the rule of law can bring success to a country and therefore India is also a good example for South Sudan who is a much younger nation and I think the South Sudanese should follow the example of India and strive for democracy and rule of law and the protection of human rights and then development will come also to South Sudan. Thank you. Uh, I envy the size of the country, but uh, Japan is uh, uh, doing its uh, work, doing its part for South Sudan. And I, um, I'm glad to see that South Sudan is uh, founded by so many friendly countries. And I wish you peace, because uh, I think peace will bring about uh, uh, wealth and uh, prosperity uh, to the people in this country. So I wish you all the best. My name is Shailaja. I'm from uh, South India. I'm very happy for celebrating uh, Republic Day in South Sudan, Juba. My name is uh, Ezekiel Lol Gatpot. I'm the Minister of Petroleum, Republic of South Sudan, Juba. Well, uh, the day is an important day for us because if you go to the history of India, uh, they struggle. Mahatma Gandhi had is a non-violent uh, struggle. Uh, so for me, uh, we have gone through a lot. Uh, South Sudanese violently, and even now Sudan, uh, we had been uh, through violence, and we wanted to make sure that from today onward, uh, it is very important for us to live in peace, uh, disown violence, and work to reconciliation, unity, harmony for all South Sudanese. This is a great day for the birth of the freedom of the people of the Republic of India for long struggling, fighting for their independence from the British Empire and they succeeded after uh, hard determination and uh, civil violence. We are congratulating the Indian people for this great day. Thank you. Um, I am Florington, the head of mission for Nonviolent Peace Force. It's really an important day to be part of the Republic Day of India, um, as the organization mainly focused on nonviolence approach um, that we use uh, during aftermath of conflict. Um, it is an approach that um, we bring people together for dialogues, uh, mediations. So it's an important day for us as well to be part of this uh, greatest event. And uh, we are looking forward that this relationship of ours with India will really uh, bring such technology and even develop the skills of our uh, use of our young people uh, so that at least we can be able to, to, to become like Indians. For the people of South Sudan, the Indian Republic Day is a reminder and a new learning experience of, of what lies ahead in achieving development in partnership with the Indian government.